Welcome summoners to a brand new League of Legends video where today we're going to be trying out some misfortune in the top lane going for a spicy and unique build here I was going to go for like a burn build but I might mix it up and uh go for I'm well, going to see if it's going to get aggressive or not I actually wanted to play Nautilus as well in the top lane but yeah for misfortune we're going to go for like a spicy hybrid build I think be kind of cool this guy's taking a bunch of free damage he actually pops uh comet on us which is kind of crazy I didn't expect comet Okay, this guy's angry. Really aggressive onto the wave here. Nice. Pretty good for us. It's actually really bad for him, to be honest. Oh, okay, unless we just do something stupid like that. We won't continue to walk forward here. I can say it's really bad for him because this is exactly what's going to happen. When you're playing melee versus ranged, uh, if you walk up too far like this, and you end up... Should have queued this minion instead. We're taking a bunch of damage for free, though, I'll be honest. Okay, he has a shield just in time. But yeah, melee versus range, you end up taking a bunch of damage. Oh my gosh, are we dead? No way. Okay, my bad. I put my ghost and my uh, flash there. He's playing it really well, but we're, we're actually just kind of playing bad, I'll be honest. Didn't be that far up against him. He's looking kind of low, which is kind of good for my jungler. See what he does here. He might walk up. Oh, if that hits, we actually die. I'll ping that his flash is down here. See if my jungler does come up. Could be a free kill, which is pretty good. Nice. Well played jungler. I don't have TP though. If I could push this wave would be really good. I'm not going to be able to, I don't think. Buying a tier would be good as well. And what an aggressive play. He's going to TP into me. It should be a free kill for my jungler if he wants to come. He's going to TP and my jungler can just kill him for free. But yeah, I guess he doesn't really realize. No worries. Or he's got a few better things to do, which makes sense. I could chuck my biscuit here. He does get a kill mid. Nice. Well played, jungler. Let's go. Gotta be a little bit careful here. He's gonna look for the hook onto us, I think. Getting a reset would be nice. I don't think Zack is topside, but I've been wrong before. He's gonna try and land the hook. Because he got the tech. I don't know, but we're not gonna find out. Let's just leave. Uh, I do want to get Leandries. I think that's gonna be pretty cool to get first. Nice, and we can get ourselves some potions as well. Pretty sure Norto is going to push in the wave. He's actually a really good top laner in my opinion. He's actually really, really strong. Does a ton of damage. Uh, after Leandri, you can get an AD item. Maybe I should get Mana Mune. I'm not sure. An ally has been slain. Not sure at all. We get free boots as well, by the way, at 11.15. Nice. Another point into our E for the meantime. We'll just use that to poke him out. Might look for the hook. Oh, what is that hitbox? No way that hits. I was actually expecting it, but man, that hitbox is crazy. Okay, interesting. Nice. Okay, a couple of kills across the map here. Hope you guys are having a good day, by the way. And here to hopefully chill out and enjoy the vibes. We get free gold from first strike, which is kind of nice. He is level 6 now though, so he could probably just ult me and try and kill me here. So i got to be super careful. Good thing that he actually killed that minion so that I can get this cannon minion. Nice. Okay, we hit the wrong minion. Pretty good. Jungler could come topside here. Let's see what he does. Okay, should be okay here, I think. Should have aimed it a little bit better. Aim was a little bit poor. He's gonna die. My aim was really bad with my ult. I should have aimed it in front of the Nautilus. I don't know why I aimed it in such a way so that he can easily walk out of it. That was really bad. 
That would have been made a big difference, I think. I'm missing a bunch of minions. No. All right, we definitely need the tier. I realize. My gosh, my ult was terrible, but either way, we do get the kill into him, which is kind of nice. We'll buy the tier now because we definitely do need it. Then we can finish off the Leandries or the Haunting guys, is it? Yeah, nice. Pretty good. Ooh, kill on the bot side. Well played, team. Ooh, it's kind of close. Nice. Good play from Aatrox. Picking up a kill in return. Ooh, Nautilus has a Catalyst. You know what would be cool, actually? Trying out the Robo build uh, that you have on Volibear on Nautilus. So, with Volibear, you build Roa into uh, Navori. That would be kind of cool to try. Because of the way the waves have been and stuff, we're actually still behind in terms of XP. We'll be able to do some decent damage to the wave at least. And we are maxing our E here. Gotta be really careful not to walk too far forward though. Takes a little bit of damage, not a lot. Not as much as we would like, unfortunately. See what my jungler does here. Nautilus is playing super aggressive. Nice. How much gold do we get from this? Only 110. Not the most, but still pretty decent, I guess. Killing spree. Nice. Killing spree on the bot side. Zach's been playing so much uh, bot here doing. that he An enemy has been slain. isn't really doing a good enough job to make it worthwhile, to be honest. My jungler is invading as well. Playing aggressive here because I think my jungler could probably come top again. Nice. Should be good here. Nice. Get a really good E ult combo that time. That's pretty good. Ah, I didn't need to flash. I did want the kill though this time. Hecarim's been up here three times, but I haven't got any kills unfortunately. Would be good to help us get our build a little bit faster. But no worries. Good play from the Hecarim. It's unfortunate for Nautilus. It's just a little bit of a jungle diff for him in the sense that Nautilus or the sense that Zac hasn't been up. I've been focused on bot side and still dying actually, which is a little bit rough, but we'll go ahead and push us in for now. Nice. All right, good clear. How much do we need for Leandries now? Getting a couple of those kills would have been nice. We're actually so close. Oh, we got the free boots. Uh, just sell this, I guess. That way we can burn a little bit. Yeah, he is going for Roa, which is interesting. I think Roa and Novori would be actually really good on uh, Nautilus. It gives you a little bit of crit. Because he's got such long cooldowns. I think that could work. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, guys. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. We haven't done too much. A lot of fighting going on on the bot side. And it's working out pretty well for our team. Syndra is struggling just a little bit. Nice. Gotta be careful of Zach, but it surprised me if he is on the top side now. Maybe I just do do go for a burn build, I'm thinking. Hmm. Would be kinda good. Ah, uh, there's Zach. I kind of expected it. I don't know. The way Nautilus was playing, I know he was playing aggressive this whole time, but I was kind of expecting it, to be honest. Should I have got this first? Maybe I should get the Blackfire Torch first. I'm walking in such a weird path, just in case uh, Nautilus was in the bush or Zach was in the bush. Nice. Okay, Zach's up here. Can we kill Zach? Just doing some free damage to him. Why not? How much gold do we get from this? 173. Okay, not a ton. Equal down is actually pretty long, to be honest. Nice. 
Nice. All right. Can we get a tower plate here? Is that too risky? Is Nautilus back now? I think he might be. I clicked my W rather than pressing W because I'm itching my eye. Oh, okay. We're dead now. Yeah, we're definitely dead. <laughs> I expected one of them to be there, maybe. All right. We should have gone for this thing first, I guess. Which would have been, been kind of cool, but no. We're going to go for Leandre's. Then we'll get... Oh, let's get Blood Mail. That's going to stack with our HP. Why not? Double kill bot side, man. They are absolutely getting destroyed down there. The extra HP is going to be nice. And then we could get maybe Riftmaker. That way we can utilize the HP of Leandre's. Which will be pretty good. Mid lane seems kind of even. Not really too much going on. Ekrim's going to make a play for the top side. I'm on my way. With my strap passive, I should be able to get up there to at least get an assist in time. Nice. We managed to get the kill, which is good, pretty good. We definitely needed it. I think he's got his TP now. Zach actually ganking the mid lane here. We're going to try and focus on plates if we can. As ends up going down, Hecarim's there to hopefully equalize the play here. He does a ton of damage. He's actually really far ahead. Nice ult from Sona coming in. Okay, and the shutdown goes over to the Varus. Evening up the game a little bit. Just seeing if Norto is going to TP behind me or something. I know he can't. Oh, no, he can. Getting one more play here would be huge. Nice. We got a ton of plates. Can even get first tower here as well. No, are we dead? Uh, pop ghosts here. Yeah, I was going to say, he just ults me, right? Got to dodge the next hook. Oh, I was hoping he hooked on the tower. So that was my plan, right? Obviously, we flashed the hook, which is correct. But then I was hoping that the hook actually hits the tower and then he goes on the tower. He might have had flash, but... Would have been a cool play. All right, how much do we need for blood mail? Quite a lot. Has first tower gone down? Yeah, it has. I'm just going to reset here. We end up using both our summoners, though, which is not so good. We'll get movement speed. Oh, no. We'll get Ionian boots. That'd be nice. The extra ability haste will be really good for the E. Be really good for sure. All right, looking good. 220 gold from this thing. Looks like Zach's gonna go bot side here. Aatrox is a little bit too strong though. The Zach passive goes down, but I don't think it's the right play anymore. He's been bot a lot actually, surprisingly, considering it hasn't been going so well for him. Being aggressive just because I can really. Yeah, that Aatrox is insane right now, man. Insane. See if Nautilus is still here. If he isn't, we can get the tower. He doesn't look like he is. Which is pretty good. Oh, Varus looks like he's trying to make a play on our team, but he's in a bad spot. Hecarim and uh, Aatrox can actually jump on top of him here, but... They gotta be a little bit careful. No, Varus is back mid, okay. I feel like Zach should have played more topside. Getting kills on to in a mobile MF. Should be pretty easy, right? Nautilus presses R, Zach follows up pretty easily. Oh, Nautilus actually went down here. Okay, we're just gonna go push in the top wave. By the time we get down there, it's gonna be way too late. Mazel's pushes in. Use the six void grubs to get a bunch of tower damage. Don't think anyone's here. Zach could be here, but that's about it. No, they're actually all still bot side. Aatrox now in a 1v3, it looks like. Yeah, he's going to go down here for sure, I'm pretty sure. But we do get another tower for our troubles, which is huge. Nice. Oh. That's a Sona. 
Are we dead? I think we're okay. He might go for the flash hook. No, we're all right. All right, pretty good. How much do we need for blood mail? Not too much now. We'll go ahead and defend the mid wave. Then we can start getting involved in some fights. Which will be kind of fun. I think I'll go top. No point recalling. This guy's going to push in the wave, right? Yeah, we could even look for a play with our jungler. Or at least make sure we get enough gold. We're going to get this blue buff. Okay. Should be able to kill this guy, to be honest. Nice. And the Zax here as well. Should be a dead Zax, to be honest. Ooh. Do damage to Syndra. Not a ton, but enough. Chug our biscuit here. Oh my gosh, where's my team? No, we're gonna go down. We almost had. Oh, I should have put my ghost. I think I maybe could have got away. I did have enough for blood mail as well, so I had a ton of gold to spend, but my team were actually going for the virus and stuff. Syndra now in a bad spot. Might go down. Zach actually jumping into the mid lane. Guys, I managed to get the W onto the Syndra. It's going to be a dead Syndra thanks to the Aatrox for sure. Yeah, and Zach's going to go down as well without being able to get a return kill, I don't think. Aria coming in from the Kaiser just in case. Not bad. We need another HP item now. That's what we need. If we get more HP, it's going to synergize super well with the Blood Mail. I was thinking something like Titanic would be quite nice. Or well, like I said, maybe Riftmaker. Hmm... Maybe something a bit cheaper as well. We can decide what we want. Getting some ability haste would be good too. Let's see HP and or oh, maybe warmogs. Yeah, just get straight up HP. Let's get warmogs. Oh, it doesn't give ability haste though, which kind of kind of sucks. Uh, ability haste. We get. 24, I guess, but a big fight's going on. Aatrox is going really, really deep now. We can go ahead and ult here. Flash forward. Ult into the virus. Really nice stuff. Secure a couple of kills for our team, which is awesome. That play was pretty good. We'll go ahead and go topside here. Maybe see if we can help out the Hecarim. He actually goes down in the end. I'm gonna pop my ghost here. Nice. Don't know if we can get the Syndra here or not. No, she still has ult. <gasps> I should have waited for my E. I should have waited for my E. I could have definitely killed the Syndra. I guess my chat down. Kai is going to be able to pick it up. Maybe. She's a little bit overextended. She's alone now. Syndra actually charging up some boards, which is a little bit scary. Kai is going on top of the Sona here. Sona kiting really well. Using the heal. Using the uh, stun. Syndra misses her stun though, which means that the Kaiser is going to be able to get away pretty easily. Nautilus TPing in and getting the kill onto the Kaiser will end the fight there. A little bit of misplay from Syndra. Would have kept the Sona alive, I think. Should have been good. Ooh, Sarah playing a little bit aggressive here. We need to decide what the buy still. That's why I'm still looking in the shop. Sun Sky could be kind of nice. Uh, I think that could synergize well with Love Tap. Aatrox and the uh, Zyra in a 3v4, a 2v4 even, now in a 3v1, with the kill on either side, Aatrox trying his best to get on top of the Syndra, does get a Zac passive down, but unfortunately he's outnumbered and he will go down in the end, we'll go mid here, see if we can clean up this wave, I think what we can do here is quickly get some vision on the Baron just in case the enemy team decides to go for it. They might jump into it or someone might come here. Hopefully I'm not just standing on a wall. Set sail. They are doing it. Oh, we're just dead. Oh my goodness, we're trolling. I was like, no, they're doing it, right? They're not doing it. We're trolling. What we should do is upgrade this. I could do into Fimble Winter for the HP, but I won't get the passive. Only by immobilizing. We don't really immobilize, unfortunately. That's going to be a Baron gone, though, which is a little bit rough. But no worries. No worries at all, my friends. 
feel like Sunless Sky is a play. We get Billy Hayes from it as well. Why not? Oh, they're not doing Baron. Okay, that's good to know. Your team has destroyed a turret. As it going down again, Aatrox seeing himself in a 2v3 this time. Uh, Zaya coming with a flank here. Getting a really nice ult off to create space. Aatrox continuing to go forward there. Managed to get one reset. Stopwatch coming in from Syndra, but she's going to go down from the next Aatrox Q into the auto. Zach goes down as well. Really good play from our team overall. Pretty nice stuff. Nautilus is alive. Maybe he can do a little bit. We'll go ahead and help out our team up here, I think. Hecarim should have that Drake all covered on his own, I'm pretty sure. They just need heal cut. He heals so much. Yeah, that Aatrox heals so much. He's so fed as well. Phone is up now. So we can look for the Sona. How much is this done? 1.4. I kind of want to just poke him out a little bit more with ease rather than... Going for fall in, all in fights. Got to be careful of Zach. E damage is decent, just more for poking with Leandres. Nice. Oh, Zara goes down, gets traded by the Cinder there. There's a ward here, so we've got to be super careful. You can see Varus is charging up his Q. Might be aiming it for me or the Aatrox here. Zach's gonna jump in. We're gonna ult here. Ekrim coming in as well. Decent ult to create space for my team. Zach's gonna jump straight on top of me, which is a little bit of a pain. Need my team to help me out here. Aatrox is gonna come back and do that. Varus is gonna be able to take out the Ekrim. Gonna go ahead and uh, use my Ghost here. Should be okay still. Not sure if Zach's gonna be down here. He is, but it looks pretty good for my team. They don't really have that much damage. I think Nautilus might go down. Nice E from the... Gonna have to flash this. The Zac continuously trying to do a bunch of damage to us, which is a bit of a pain. Nice. My goodness, that Zac was all over us. We have enough for Sundered Sky, which is gonna be nice. So we can get some good healing. I did use both my summoners there though, which wasn't so good. But nice. Let's get a pink ward as well for our troubles. Game's not looking too bad. Got 2.5k damage on Leandris here. The blood mail is a little bit interesting. 25 bonus AD. But let's see how much healing we get off this now. Looks like our team are still in their jungle. For the meantime. We'll see if maybe we can set up a play with the team. I should uh, be playing around with Syrah a lot more. She can definitely set up some good plays with us to be honest. Because if she uses her E and R to root them up, they can be in place for a while and that's they can just eat my entire R. Okay. Oh, Zach again. This guy is constantly on my back. Gonna ult the Nautilus here. Nice. I do get the key onto the Zach. He does go down to Desire in the end. The enemy team need heal cut. I'm surprised they really don't have any here. If they had more heal cut, they could definitely deal with the Aatrox. The Zac is so annoying. Very big pain to play against. You need a pink ward for that. Oh, I have a pink ward. I'm trolling. I'm like, oh, I need a pink ward. I got one. Nice. Don't know if the Varus or the Syndra walk up here. I don't think so. But we'll poke out. Trim some of this wave even for the meantime. Poke out the wave, I was going to say. <laughs> Getting some more AP here might be nice. Just for the burst damage. Maybe get like a Nash's Tooth. That's going to help with the attack speed. And a little bit of AP. Don't get HP from it though, which is a little bit rough, but it's fine. Nice. Rico bow secured. Pretty good. So how much damage have we done? 61 healing here, 2.7 with Leandries. I guess our damage in total is pretty high. 385 extra gold. Oh, they are doing it. No way. 
Nice E ult combo. That's a dead Syndra. Whoa, that's a ton of damage we're doing there. We're going to be able to focus these two, but these two being in front of us, give me a little bit of pain. We're going to E here. We dodge the Nautilus hook, which is huge. Got to be careful here. Aatrox doing a lot uh, onto the enemy base right now. Okay, nice. I managed to eat Nautilus there. Really good play there. Our setup was huge. Go ahead and leave. Only Sona's alive, I think. And Varys, I guess. He wants to do the objective. I'm definitely down. It's going to mean the game's going to slow out a little bit longer. But man, what a risky play from the enemy team. They almost got away with it as well. I like the play. It's kind of like a Hail Mary. If we get it, you know, we're there in a better spot. If they don't get it, then they're in trouble. Good job we checked it. I wasn't even going to check it until Kaiser did, I don't think. So it's a little bit risky, but our E ult combo was huge. I could probably sell this tier now. I only bought it for the mana early on, but didn't really end up building it into anything. So we could probably sell it. How much does it sell for? 280. Nice. I want to get some more gold, but I think it's better off just farming enemy champions instead. We can set up a play here with the team. They face check one of us. They're in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Big damage onto Sona. Well, that's a lot of damage coming in from the Syndra now. She got three items. A little bit scary. Want to get enough of my Nashes. Okay. Zack might go in here. I think it's a little bit risky. Are we in trouble? I think we're okay. We're going to E so we can create some space here. Nautilus doesn't do that much damage to us. Oh, Aatrox barely lives there. Yeah, he's too strong, man. They need heal cut. I'm so surprised the enemy team didn't buy a heal cut. Syndra had it, I guess. And I guess Varus has it on his E, but... Other than that, they're unable to kill him without it. Nice. Looks like that's going to be game. Nautilus has recalled and he's back, but he's not doing too much right now. Awesome. It looks like it's going to be game, my friends. This hybrid misfortune build. Not doing too badly. It was more Aatrox just kind of taking over the game. But I managed to play kind of well. And GG. Alright, summoners. Pretty cool game with Misfortune there. I actually managed to pop off in the end. The check damage wasn't insanely high. It was mainly Aatrox just kind of running around doing his thing. But I managed to keep up with the rest of our team. It's fun trying out this hybrid style Misfortune in the top lane. If you guys enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.